Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. So it is time to make a sphere finally out of this gigantic blank. So let's get started.
Well, all right, guys, I got through it, and I'm really happy with this. Not too bad for my first attempt. Now, it's not perfect by any means. Uh, I got to be honest, it is kind of tough uh, doing this manually, you know, just by hand. Uh, I had a little trouble trying, you know, getting it uh, exactly round. I think I might be picking up one of those jigs just to try it a little bit sooner than I thought. Uh, it was kind of tough, and I actually had to kind of stop a little bit early. This is definitely not a perfect sphere. Uh, I had to stop a little bit early because I was really running out of burl cap, and I just kept taking material off, and I thought, I better just kind of be happy with how how round it is at this point and just start sanding it. And overall, I mean, it turned out great. I'm, I'm really happy with this. Really fun project to turn. Uh, cool blank to make also, you know, it was fun to cast it. Uh, the little BB-8 is awesome. So overall, I had a blast doing this. So a couple of little, little thoughts about the project. I just want to thank Carl Jacobson for uh, giving me this idea. He said, you know, I, I usually make a little template uh, before I do these spheres, that way you can kind of see your progress, see what you need to take off. It was a brilliant idea, it helped. Now I wasn't able to nail <laughs> the exact shape uh, manually, but it definitely did help kind of see where, where I needed to go, what, what was left basically. Uh, so thanks to Carl for that. Um, those new Easywood tools cutters, the, ra the negative rate cutters, man, they really were awesome to use on this project. I know, well, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I actually got chip out. Uh, when I was uh, truing it up, I was using the, the just CI0 is, is the, the tool. It's like the bigger circle cutter when I was truing it up and I actually got a couple grabs and chip out. Never got any grabs or anything like that with all the other negative rate cutters. So those were a joy to use. Um, if you're getting into resin stuff, if you're working with difficult materials, things that tend to chip out or be grabby, definitely pick up some of those negative rate cutters. They are a dream. They just cut like butter. So it'll definitely help you out if you're working with resin. So if this is your first time on my channel, uh, we do all kinds of resin casting projects, tips and tricks, and experiments around here. So hit that subscribe button if you're interested in that. And if you're thinking about getting into resin casting, want to start making some projects like this, but you're not really sure where to begin, check out my new ebook, The Beginner's Guide to Resin Casting. It answers all those beginner questions like, what do I need to get started? What resin should I use? How does it all work? That kind of stuff. It'll get you over that initial learning curve and get you making some cool blanks, pouring some resin, and having fun with it. So check that out. It's available on my website. So uh, it looks like I got about an hour or so of cleanup to do after this project, but Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Good enough.